Remind me again, you've played all the Halo games, right? Yeah, I'm uh, probably borderline a Halo fanatic when it comes to that kind of stuff. I've read all the expanded universe novels. I've actually found errors in the encyclopedia that they've had. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's, it's brutal the amount of stuff that I know about Halo. Worst encyclopedia article ever. And that was also the worst Simpsons nerd guy impression ever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, welcome to the Destiny beta video where Daryl fuck. I work. <laughs> welcome to the Destiny beta video where the claw fucks up everything. In this episode of Destiny Beta, Chiron checks out a creepy damn place underground, which looks awesome, and steals a ship. Because you know, in the future, you gotta have ship stealing skills. Well, so far, it's a very decently pretty game. Okay. And more balls. It's a. <laughs> all that's, the balls. I, I think that's gonna be a, a running gag with this game is balls. Balls, balls everywhere. Balls, balls, balls. Right, Space so balls. It had. Press select to see my objective. Okay, Cosmodrome. Alright, so enter the wall. Take refuge. Inside the ancient wall. And take uh, the oath. By blackest day and brightest night, this wall white walker will teabag me right. Oh no, that's something. bad. Okay. All right. So well, all these cars were driving to get to the wall, because there's, what, safety and sanctuary, probably? Uh, maybe. Okay. It looks like a, pretty much like a shithole out here. It does. I haven't seen so many low-res, rusty car models since Fallout and, um, Seven Days to Die. There's like a four-lane highway going gotcha. into a giant wall. Gotcha. And even more balls. All the balls. Hey, did you know Coco the monkey who learned sign language so people can talk to the monkey had a kitten that had no tail, so the monkey called him All Ball because <laughs> he looked like a ball because he had no tail? That's uh, kind of uselessly amazing. Yeah. And then when All Ball got hit by a car, the monkey painted a black painting, and when someone said, What's up? And the monkey said, blackness, dark inside, because the monkey was sad that all ball died. Hmm. You know, it's funny, because I get uh, less intelligence out of people I work with than what that monkey spewed. Yeah! <laughs> what that monkey spewed. Yeah. Yeah, you need to work with a hand-signing monkey. Yes. All right, so, uh, back onto task. This is, this is a nice apocalypse. I like how there's colors. In this apocalyptic world, there's, there's, I know there's greens and reds, they're all muted, but at least there's still colors, it's not just all gray. I found the run key. I'm gonna run around like an idiot. Uh, you've got the runs. I've got the runs, <laughs> dude. dude. Right, now, did we talk over what you have to do? Uh, well, it's got the thing where you press select and it tells you what you gotta do. Oh, nice. All right. It says I have to get into the wall. Okay. Your weapon before the fallen find us. Ooh, the oh, fall. Good. Order me up a weapon. Oh, look, follow the dots. Oh, lovely. That's that's nice. I like that. They're right above us. So, okay. if they're right above us, why is my damn problem? Because... Eh. Personal preference, I'm very weary of games where someone radios and tells you everything. Yeah. It feel... It was, it was nifty back in... Oh! Well... So you can't fall off ledges. Do you see that spirit ball? That's your spirit, because you just... That's you. You're just a big ball of fuck. Oh, nice. Uh-oh. I think you were better off as a spirit ball. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, so... Okay, so it's... Oh, there we go. It's, it's your calm... It's your spear calm thing. What did that call it? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, whoops. So now I got some pew pew going on. The poop pew poop pew pew! You think when he, the shadows so far are looking nice? Lock on target. Lock on target. The light effects are nice. Watch for motion tracker. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it does have a halo kind of feel. Okay. So a feel in the the way the action pops up or the the way the oil? action pops up the the controls. Okay. It's got a very halo feel, so I find it extremely comfortable. Okay. Nice. So it's good for halo long timers. Yeah. Yep. At least two. I like the green and the shadows. It's, so far, it's eye candy enough for somebody to sit beside and pay attention. I'm gonna take a few points away for having health bars over the bad guys. That breaks my immersion of being in 
a uh, post-apocalyptic thing. Because it's suddenly, oh look, here's a video game. Well, if you had a heads-up display, blah blah, insert techno babble here. Exactly, if we had that techno babble. Like if it only popped up when you held the gun over it, that'd be cool. I really? think you should touch some. Yeah, I, I think, think you so should too. touch, touch yeah, some yeah. mines. Oh. Oh, 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 that bad. <laughs> oh, that was just like a slap in the butt. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh they're got throwing the sticky grenades. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, man. Well, it's, it's beta, right? So maybe beta means, hey, this was going to be a Halo game. So then we started turning it into something new called Destiny. Ah, well, like I said, the, the Halo feel to it isn't that bad. Okay. Ah, good, 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 good. So, uh, and to recap, there was this great big oh. ball on Mars, and now Everything you're a ball. Is happy. Or is that your little calm guy? I might be my little calm guy. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna hold back here. Oh, shit. What have we learned? Don't Absolutely kill yourself for fun. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I'll still do it. Oh. Uh, this isn't the episode about the learning. No, no. No learn. Hmm. Do you, you happen to have any idea whether the game engine is a bungee in-house made one? Or? Yeah, I'm okay. pretty sure it's uh, the in-house engine. I'm really liking it so far. It's It's got a believable grime to it, the lighting shadows are looking really nice. Even for the shitty PS3 last gen, some 20 bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who said that? No, no, I shouldn't say that. Sony might get offended. Sony, if you're offended, then thank you for noticing me on your radar. Because I didn't even <laughs> expect to be, you know, a blip on a please butt on your radar. Oh, from the brim to the dregs. That's life. Funny as it may seem. Some people get their kicks. Stomping on a dream. Actually, with the uh, not so much with the health bar, but with the uh, damage popping up. Yeah. When you shoot them, it's got a Borderlands feel to it. Mm, too. This is true. No, oh, that was a needler. <laughs> Do you know of any games that, given uh, their best guess about damage thing, like imagine if. Instead of knowing, you know, the damage on something, your gun was just... The, hey, I'm pretty sure this guy's almost dead. So then you have to gamble... Uh, as far as like, okay, maybe I'll keep shooting this guy or I'll shoot the other guy. You get what I'm saying? Instead Kinda. of knowing for sure, like this om omniscient... Oh, uh, yeah, cover base shooter, Halo. Oh, hello, cover! You're my best friend! How's your health bar? Is it regenerating? Yeah, it... The regenerating health. Okay. So you'll hide behind this little thing here. Yeah. And I see nothing. Oh! Ooh, there it goes. Oh my god, really? That's how it works? Remember, I lived in a box underneath a gripping pile of poop between the years of 1999 and 2008, so I missed the whole beginning of all these cover based shooters. Yeah, very true. I can't be more of a newbie pwn, pwn a noober. And that's me right there. Mr. Pwn a noob. <laughs> oh, dirty, I pwn a noob. <laughs> okay, so the little floaty things are called ghosts. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so that's works as a checkpoint, you think? I'll set out a new Grimoire. Grimoire card. Grimoire. Okay, Grimoire. I like that word. Those are some lovely reflections. <laughs> okay. And again, for all the crap I'm talking, I'm enjoying watching this. I don't know if I would enjoy playing. Why does this give me an alien free kill? I was getting that earlier, before the... Who was it? It was Murphy. How can you tell? <laughs> That's his boot. <laughs> I saw that someone made an Alien 3 Fallout 3 mod. Oh, yeah? And yeah, I was watching a bit of a video. I forget who. But it looked pretty good. Ooh! Can tank can I has? Yes. Kyron need tank. Like it's nobody's oh. business. Oh look at that thing. That shiny space glowy thing. 
Oh, there go my balls! Yeah, knock the balls down. Oh, I, got, my balls got punched. I mean, <laughs> they punched, they punched you right in your balls. Ships, this close to the surface. Oh's nose. Voice acting? I got a voice acting job on the weekend. Very Halo feel. Okay. Like again, not saying it's a bad thing. Just a very obvious thing. Like yeah. an un okay. Like how a Bethesda game, if it uses the creation or Gamebryo engine, whatever their engine is called, is definitely gonna feel like a Bethesda game. Yeah, true enough. Okay, like an id tech game is gonna feel like an id tech game. How many other more game engines can I pick out? Like an Unreal game is gonna feel like an Unreal game. Like a Unity game is gonna feel like garbage. <laughs> now shut your face, man! I played a lot of fucking sweet Unity games. Most are garbage, though. <laughs> that is well. It all depends on what you run with, right? Like a lot of them. No offense to them, but they're just like little startups, and they do work with what they have. You know? <laughs> just like the MOU game studio. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm a game studio kind of man. Hey! <laughs> hey! Okay, fine, I'm gonna tell them that you said that. Other Daryl, Kyron talks- you better reload, you've only got two... cambers left in the round thing. Two of the round shooty killy things left in the thing that shoots the round shooty killy thing? Yeah, yeah, the shooty killy thinger. Now, for the record though, Surgeon Simulator is Unity, as well as Seven Days to Die, and those are almost two of the most opposite games you could get. Yeah, true enough. So. Ooh, can I drive this? It's not the tool, it's how, what you know how to do with the tool. I wanna drive a big, giant, smashy, walkie thing. So I bet you that those are like little previews for later on missions. Well, from what I've been told, I think there's vehicles in this game. Awesome. Oh, I have to say the melee punch is very satisfying. Oh, it is. It's right in the fucking bridge of the nose. Bah! I'm Steven Seagal! Fuck yeah! Oh, drones. Oh, yeah. Big grenades. Mm, true. Not enough games have grenades. Hey, I leveled up. Ding. Boom, upgrade boom, one boom. of my abilities. Let's see what ability I can upgrade. Pod piece. <laughs> That's where your cursor is, right? They got improve my crotch. And weren't you supposed to be a robot? Why do you got just a... Uh, probably because your... I haven't... It's armor. Oh, okay, so that's your... Okay, I got it. So you're actually... this. Is, that's kind of neat. Because in the Halo games, you could uh, unlock armor pieces, but they're strictly decorative. Yeah. Uh, with this, it looks like they're actually... It's almost like an RPG where they're... They serve purposes. Oh, wicked! That's points. Bing! The whole cursor, the Maniac Mansion style menu cursor thing is very interesting and cool. I could imagine on PC, that's just what you're doing with your mouse, so it makes sense. Yeah. But playing it on the cursor again, I'm gonna say Maniac Mansion again because Maniac Mansion cursor. Yeah. Maniac Mansion. I'm done. Uh, oh, look at that. Flashbang grenade. Yes, please. Bang flash grenade. Yeah. If the original Doom had grenades, that'd be awesome. I did, they were called rocket. Shut your face. <laughs> Way back when I was modding it, I actually changed the animation of... of the BFG, I think. I made a very shitty animation of throwing a grenade. Oh, yeah? So it, the grenade even got smaller in the distance because it was just part of the animation. But it worked like a grenade. So I, I can claim that fame, bro. Fucking Claude, 1993 modern Doom. What? <laughs> Oh, is there anything? That's pretty good. I wish I didn't talk over all the bad guy introduction, because I don't know what's going on here. Uh, things move, I shoot them. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. Okay, I'm caught up to speed. I thought I missed something. New. No. Haven't seen any colossally cool bad guys yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, again, but before the droves of bad guys and before the power bars, it was having this really awesome aliens theme, because you saw the shadows running, and you're in this dark, cramped space, it was really nice. Oh my god! 
You're you're low on health. You should either get to a doctor or just hide. Squat. Doctor Squat here. Oh, you're damaged. Just squat. Little known fact that the closer your testicles are to the ground, the more energy you have in real life. The more efficient the teabagging becomes. That's right. Now, was, was Halo the series that teabagging really got big on? Or? Yeah, because yeah. you could crouch in it, so when you killed someone, it was customary, especially since when you died, there was a few seconds where you were still uh, able to see your, around your body. Gotcha. And, uh, yeah, that's where teabagging basically came from. Okay. <laughs> And that's why the human race can't have nice things. Yeah. Because they give us the crouch button, and a few seconds of death cam, and we must shove our nuts in people's face. They actually make tea bags now that look like... I've seen that! Oh, uh, thank you, Internet. I can make it work. So we get Kevin Spacey instead of Jen Siri Taylor. Jen Taylor. Okay. Now all this ship needs is a Duke of Hazards horn. <laughs> Wonderful. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but the little Kevin Spacey cube, he just said they were lucky they haven't picked it clean. Oh, okay, so that's why it's 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 been fucked up. But hey, when this gearbox? Oh, hello, D Hell Knight from Doom versus Zero. Perfect. Ver and zero versus. Oh, what? No. She's no. there. No. Oh, fuck you, Destiny. I'm gonna go play those other games at the Drop same time. Sniper. Okay. Well, well, at least he said we can come back. There's another dude. But that's the cloak, chicky looking. Yeah. Come on. That's Optimus what? Prime okay. wouldn't stand for this. No, no. Actually, no, I take it back. He would. Optimus Prime was all about, I'll sacrifice myself, and no, let the Decepticons go do their shit. Optimus Prime was the best Decepticon ever, because he let them get away with all their fucking shit. So that was apparently the first level of Destiny. Woohoo!